The aim with this video is to summarize the course KETF10 separation processes in five minutes. The course is divided into six different themes, each covered by a separate chapter in the literature written for the course. Of the 7.5 ECTS credits, the students receive 4.5 credits when passing the exam covering all themes. The student can get bonus points to the exam by writing and answering questions in pairwise. The remaining three credits the student receives when passing compulsory tasks and labs. Let us now go through the six different themes. The first theme is an introductory theme containing an overview of various separation processes. In the compulsory task, the students are to suggest a solution to a separation problem and present their solution orally. The second theme is on evaporation. The student should be able to solve the mass and energy balances for a single effect evaporator. In the compulsory tasks, the students simulate a multi-effect evaporator with a focus on understanding energy efficiency and how boiling point elevation affect their driving force in a multi-effect evaporator. During this theme, we also discuss how to improve technical and scientific writing skills. The third theme is distillation. The simple compulsory lab is designed to help students understand what they're actually doing when using mccabe tedis graphical method to do design calculations for a distillation column. Understanding the equilibrium stages, physical trace, overall tray efficiency, and optimal feed location are important parts in this theme. In the fourth theme, we first describe flow in porous media and then use that to describe cake filtration at constant pressure. We then turn our attention to membrane filtration where the student should be able to use three different flux models. There is a compulsory lab during this theme. In the fifth theme, we build on flow in porous media covered in the previous theme and talk about adsorption isotherms, batch adsorption processes, and how to carry out design calculations using mass balances. We also cover batch column adsorption, or more precisely, chromatography using breakthrough curves, and how to scale them up by considering what happens with T-star and the length of unused bed during upscaling. The compulsory task in this theme is similar to what an exam task could look like. Size exclusion chromatography is also included in this theme. In the sixth and last theme, drying, we focus on drying using adiabatic air dryers with partially recirculated air. We build heavily on the student's prior knowledge on how to use Molière diagrams for moist air. The student should also be able to explain how hygroscopic materials work and how that influences the drying rate during the drying process. The compulsory task in this theme is an example of what an exam task could look like. Understanding that mass balances cannot be done in cubic meters is essential.